You're tuned to 590 WROW in Albany. 530. And now, another tale well calculated to keep you in... Suspense. In just one minute, two came back. Written for suspense by Ronald Dawson and Joseph Cochran from a story by Jules Archer. Pepsi-Cola refreshes without filling. Why? Because it's truly light. Charlie, you're forgetting something. Wait, Kay, there's more. Yes, ice-cold Pepsi is the delicious refreshment that goes great at a picnic or a party. But, Charlie... And Pepsi goes fast. People like it, so keep plenty handy. There. Oh, you did fine, except for one thing. Well, I mentioned lightness and how Pepsi refreshes and how fast it goes. You left out Pepsi sociability. You know, the be sociable song. Okay, I can't sing. I can. Listen. Be sociable. No more. Keep up to date with Pepsi. Drink light, refreshing Pepsi. Stay up and stay up. and air. Be sociable. Have a Pepsi. Well, at least I can say this. Pick up an extra carton of Pepsi today. Please do. Moresby to Weewack, where we had to graze the top of the tree to get down to the bumpy landing strip on the edge of the jungle. Gabor Krilovich was getting some last-minute dope from the pilot, while Lily and I waited while we'd unloaded all our gear. Johnny, Johnny, you got to talk to Gabe. He's got to let me stay at Morsey until you two get back. I'll die in that jungle, Johnny. I couldn't stand it. Gabe gave you the choice of coming or waiting back in Frisco, Lily, and you decided to come. Well, not exactly, Johnny. You saw him. He wrapped those big arms around me and told me if I expected any of the gold, I should come with him. I didn't know then what a jungle looked like. Gabe is your husband, not me. It's none of my business. He wanted you to come, and here you are. Johnny, Johnny, if you love me... Love you? When did I ever say I loved you? Johnny, that night in Frisco... That night in Frisco can happen to anybody sometimes with a little too much liquor and a girl like you to help. Now, I've got old-fashioned ideas about other guys' wives, and it won't happen again. Here he comes. Please ask him, Johnny. He'll listen to you. See those mountains over there? That's where we go. The fellow there sell what we need for a trip. Hey, my Lily, you look like his funeral. Come on, give me a big smile. Well, Gabe, I think we ought to send Lily back to Moresby on the plane. Now, you can't ask a woman, your wife, to risk a trip like this. Now, we'll pick her up on the way back. Oh, Johnny, no. If we do that, Lily die from loneliness for me, huh, Lily? I wouldn't be lonely, Gabe. There, there are plenty of people in Moresby. Yeah, plenty men. Maybe you will not be lonely enough, Lily. Oh, I think you better come with me and Johnny, huh? <laughs> Come on. I want to get to this trader fella. Well, where are you headed, Mike? See Big River. See Big River? Oh, rum country. Only last week, another patrol officer done in up there. Headhunters, you know. Mm. Stuck his head up on a pole. Headhunters? Uh, look, Mike, it is no bloody business of mine, but the country's rough enough on a man. Worse for a woman. Now, oh, what's worse than getting your head stuck up on a pole? A wife woman's a rare prize up there. They wouldn't kill her. Odds are some native chief would grab her for his number one wife. It happened before. Nobody take my wife while I'm alive. They wouldn't expect you to be alive. Well, I take care of that part, too. Now, here's the list of things we want. Well, it looks proper. It, it got enough queening. How about some cheap trading calico, beads and the like? No, we don't come to do trading. Well, in, in that case, set here. And better tight a few of these. Better than life insurance. Look, Gabe, it's American 45. Mm, we take two and plenty of ammo. Oh, I guess you do know how to use them. <laughs> we know. Johnny here was my sarge during war. He saved my life. <laughs> Good man, Johnny. Come on, Gabe, the war's over. Yeah, yeah, but not what you do for me. That one don't forget ever. Come on, let's get rolling, Gabe. Okay, Johnny, we on our way. Well, cheerio, mate. An hour later, we were headed single file over the mountains toward my mind. I followed Gabe, whose broad back hardly bent under the heavy 
coal boat, a duffel bag of provisions. Lily brought up the rear, carrying a light pack. She walked in sulky silence. But after several hours, spoke. Jay! Well, what you want, Lily? My feet are killing me. I can't walk another step. You, you, you gotta camp here for the night. Oh, it's only 3.30. Oh, I don't care what time it is. My feet hurt. Oh, uh, we walked for two hours yet. Then we'd be almost over First Mountain. No! Oh, Lily is right, Gabe. I'm proof myself. Now, it's only the first day. Break us in easy, huh? Oh, well, all right. All right, you stay with Lily. I'll get wood for fire. Johnny. Yeah. You think there's all the gold, Gabe? Says there is. And you saw those samples he carries in that bag around his neck. Huh. And you do think there's lots of it, huh? Well, you don't think I'd give up a good job with him back to this jungle if I didn't think so. Gabe knows what he's doing. Johnny? Yeah. Come here. Johnny, I I know what you think of me, but I'm only that way because I'm I'm unhappy and bored. I, sh- I should never marry Gabe. I want fun and a good time. Well, the gold will get the fun for you. Yeah. Yeah, but I'd still have Gabe. He's the wrong man. Now, look, Johnny. It's dangerous country. Suppose after we got the, the gold, something should happen to Gabe. It could, and if it did, well, it, it'd be just a suit and a gold. Mm-hmm. And how long have you been thinking about that accident, Lily? Doesn't sound like something that you just thought of. It isn't. It's been on my mind since you first came to the house. That's why I came on the trip. You're pretty sure of yourself, aren't you? And of me. Yeah, Johnny. So sure. Ah, oh, Johnny, please. All right, Lily, stop that. Well, looks like Lily not too lonely without me. <laughs> Just like I say. Oh, I forget gun. Better keep gun with you all the time, huh, Johnny? Yeah, yeah, sure. Never can tell. I bring in wood now. He, uh... He saw it, son. Yeah, the timing was perfect. Oh, I'm afraid for you, Johnny. He'll kill you. He's insanely jealous. Mm-hmm. Maybe he's got reason for it. Then let him find the gold for us. And then on the way back? Johnny, you've got to kill him before he kills you. You suppose Gabe doesn't wait until the way back? That's a chance we got to take, Johnny. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you got to take chances if you want to get gold. <laughs> You've got to take. That's what kept jumping in and out of my mind as we waited and slashed our way along for the next three days with mosquitoes as big as hummingbirds swarming about us. I couldn't tell Gabe that Lily had grabbed me and kissed me against my will. I figured it best to be like him, say nothing, pretend it never happened. I figured, too, if he was going to kill me, he'd do it on the way back. I wasn't very big, but still I could carry out a lot of gold. That's what we'd all come for. Johnny. Johnny, Gabe. Hold up, Gabe. Come on. Every bone ache. Yeah. You look all right. Oh. Maybe just tired. We rest a few minutes. Oh, no, it's not enough, Gabe. Lily's got fever. Dengue. Huh? What's that? It's another name for break bone fever. It's nothing fatal, but she's got to have two days rest. Oh, two days? Oh, we lose too much time. She rests when we get the gold. No, she has to get rest now or she might not be alive when we get to the gold. Now, Gabe, can't you realize that she is a woman? She can't take as much as us? Yeah, she's a woman. You bet I know. You like Lily, eh, Johnny? Oh, look, Gabe, it's not a question of whether I do or I don't. She's your wife. She's worn out. She has fever. Now, I think we go on after she rests for hours. No. I say so. Well, then you go on alone. Just blaze a trail. Lily and I will follow after she gets the rest she needs. I could use a day's rest myself, and so could you, only you're too pig-headed to admit it. Uh, I don't need rest, but I think I don't go on without you and Lily. Hey! Hey! 
Gabe! Gabe, where are you going? Wait for me, Johnny! Here, give me your arm. I don't know what Gabe's found, but I must... Johnny! Look! The river. The Pacific. It's all the shouting about. That muddy old river? Sure, but it means we can give our legs a rest and travel in the boat. After what you've been through, the river route will seem like an excursion. Oh, thank God. Thank God for the river. Oh, we can't be here. Yes, early start tomorrow. Lily, you go sit in shade. Johnny and I check full boat. See if everything okay for trip down river. Are you sure this thing's safe? Oh, sure, sure, it's safe. Take it easy, Gabe. The water line is high. After all, this boat was designed for two, not three. Oh, she's okay, Johnny. I know. Only when river low with rapids, three no good. Otherwise, three plenty fine. Ready, Johnny? Okay, let her go, Gabe. We're on our way. Travel by water was a picnic after acting our way through that jungle. Lily perked up, spent a lot of time combing her hair, fixing it in a different style each day. And even Gabe relaxed. One hot afternoon... Let us all stop long enough for a cooling swim. Water was a treat. We stayed in about a half an hour. Gabe and Lily were out first and were on the bank drying themselves. I splashed out into the river for a last swim. And then I turned and headed for shore. But I stopped fast. Gabe was looking at me. The dark scowl on his face. And the forty-five in his right hand was aimed right at me. I dived just as the gun roared. From beneath the water, the forty-five sounded like a cannon. I stayed under as long as I could. And when I felt mud, I came up, ready to get a lung full of air and then go under again. I saw Gabe with a gun in his hand. Get out, Johnny! Get out, fast! Johnny, behind you! Hit that crack, fellow, but don't think him dead. Crack it out. Come up behind you, fast. I no shoot till you die, I'm afraid I hit you. You don't know how lucky you were, Johnny. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean, Lily. Tenth day on the river, we came to a landmark that Gabe thought he recognized. We pulled ashore, dismantled the pole boat, loaded our gear on our backs, and then hacked our way through the jungle. But I couldn't help thinking of Gabe and his deadly forty-five. Would he kill me when we got to the gold? Or would I have to kill him? Johnny, look. What's that? A native suspension bridge. Looks like a big spider's web. Yeah, it could be. Gabe, this wasn't built by pigeons. You got a clip in that gat? Yeah, Johnny. That afternoon, the jungle dissolved into a clearing. Gabe quickened his pace and went on ahead. Suddenly, he stopped, pointed at something. Then he dropped his pack and ran on ahead. When Lily and I came up to him, he was kneeling in a dry riverbed, digging furiously with his fingers. Johnny... This is him. This is the place I reached when I was AWOL and turned back. Look. Look, Johnny. That, that glittery stuff. Is it, is it gold? Yeah, quartz. Full of the stuff. As soon as he breaks it down in the pestle, we'll know if this trip was necessary. Look, Johnny. It was. All we have to do is find the source of this and we're riding the gravy train. I say, that mountain over there. We can't here tonight. Tomorrow, we dig in mountain. Six days later, we skidded down the mountain slope with packs far heavier than we'd carried up. We sang, talked ourselves hoarse, and argued whether we had 500,000 or 600,000 worth of gold. The first night of the return, we pitched camp by the river, exhausted. Gabe began to snore a minute after he hit the hammock. The big guy was worn out. He dug as much gold as Willie and I had together. We had the gold, all right. But now what? Who's there? Who's there? Johnny. Oh, it's you. Johnny. Johnny, why not now? Look, I can't do it. He saved my life the other day. Because he didn't have the gold yet. But now he has. Are you going to wait for him to shoot you? Will you keep your voice down, you fool? Listen, Lily, it's no good. I wouldn't kill Gabe or anyone else for you. I've been thinking about this. I know what you want. I want you, Sean. No, 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 no. Only the gold. You thought you could dazzle me into getting rid of Gabe. 
and then have the murder to hold over me. Then there'll be only one to take care of all that gold. You. Too smart to live, aren't you? Call it anything you like. Maybe we can fix that, too. Maybe Gabe has ideas what to do about his best friend, his trusted friend. He makes passes at his wife when his back's turned. Gabe loves me more than anything. I think I could get him to hate his friend. Next morning, as we started down the mountain, it was in marked contrast to the jubilation of the day before. Gabe was matter-of-fact, and as his eyes met mine, they were perfect blanks. Really reverted to sulky silence as she followed me, and I was glad that we bought only two forty-fives. But she didn't need one to get rid of me. She went to work on Gabe and sold him on the idea that I'd made passes with her. There's no telling what he'd do, but it wouldn't be good for me. Down, Johnny! Lily, down! All right, now, crawl over there. Now, keep low. Honey... This is bad. Who are they, Johnny? Native headhunters. Johnny, I'm scared. Who isn't? Don't shake my arm when I'm about to shoot. Johnny, we soon run out of ammo. We've got one chance. You think you hold them off 20 minutes? I can try. I get full boat together. You get away by river, long rapids. That's suicide, Gabe. I missed him. I think I get it through, Johnny. Now, when you hear me fire shot, run to the rapids. Did he make it all right? Yeah. I don't think they saw him. Right. Still firing in his tree. John, up there in that tree. Oh, Earl. All right, now here's how we work it. I pace my shots as far apart as possible. So when we clear out, they won't know that we're gone. If we go, John. Keep down, you fool. How do we know Gable's signal? What's to prevent him from getting in that boat and leaving us both here? I'm going to Gable. Lily! My watch showed me the Gable had gone 16 minutes. I never fired until I had a target and I wasn't missing. And then, 17 minutes. I put another one of them out of action. I checked my bullets. About 14 left. Then, 18 minutes. Sweat broke out on me. Would Gabe remember that I'd saved his life? Or would he remember Lily's arms around my neck? And now, it was 19 minutes. And then the roof caved in. They discovered that Gabe was gone. And an arrow came from a new angle. They were flanking me. It looked like I was being left behind now. Lily hated me. And she persuaded Gabe to leave me. Another arrow from a right angle. Well, this was it. I listened for Gabriel's horn. But instead, it was Gabe's signal. I pumped three fast shots into the brush and ran. Finally, I spotted the boat. Gabe and Lily waiting. Neither wore any gear, which apparently had already been stowed in the boat. And finally, I reached the rapids. Good boy, Johnny. Good boy. I never thought I'd get this far. Everything is ready. Let's get going, Gabe. Hurry. One thing I have not said to you. What? Can't it wait? Oh, better tell you now. Rapids, too shallow, too fast. Rocks, too many. What are you getting at, Gabe? This boat. It goes down all right with two, but uh, not with three. I thought I saw a faint smile on Lily's drawn lips. I felt deeply sick. Okay, Gabe, but leave your gun and ammo behind, will you? Why? Because I'll need it. Wait a minute, Johnny. Maybe we ask Lily who she thinks stay here. Maybe it's better for Gabe to stay, on huh, Lily? I, I could never make a decision like that. Well, why not? It's easy for you. Well, why don't you and Johnny decide that between yourselves, huh? How we do that? Y- you both have guns. Why not a duel? A duel? Why not? It'll only take a second. Then the one who remains will never need to know what happened to him. Gabe, they spotted us. Give me the ammo. Get in, Johnny. No. Get in both, Johnny. What about Lily? I say get in both, I Johnny. can't let you do this, Gabe. Johnny, get in both or I kill you. He snatched the gun from my hand and leveled two barrels at me. There was a gleam in his tight black eyes I'd never seen before. A gleam so fierce it seemed to paralyze my will. Hesitantly, I pushed the stern of the boat into the wild, tugging rapids. I got in and held onto a small tree branch to prevent the boats being swept away. Okay. Lily, if Johnny or me stay here, they kill us. But they don't kill you. Chief take you for a wife like that Aussie in Hot Cellars. Chief's wife, Lily. No, okay. Chief's wife. Pretty good, huh? Maybe he don't mind too much if you make eyes at other boys in his tribe. Gabe, you're crazy. You can't do this. Johnny saved my life. Lily, you ruined my life. You try to get Johnny for to kill me. Anyhow, only man who can get both down big rapids like this is me. So, Johnny and me go. No. I hope new husband make you very happy. 
Goodbye, Lily. Gabe! Okay, Johnny, we go. If you don't touch paddle, leave that to Gabe. Gabe! Johnny! Suspense. You've been listening to Two Came Back. From a story by Jules Archer, written for suspense by Ronald Dawson and Joseph Cochran. In a moment, the names of our players and a word about next week's story of suspense. Hi, this is Dennis James with a longtime favorite. <laughs> Time favorites are usually the best, aren't they? And one favorite folks have relied on over the years is Kellogg's All Brand. Since 1919, America's favorite natural laxative cereal. Kellogg's All Brand is the safe, gentle way to overcome irregularity caused by lack of bulk in your diet. It tastes good, too, and it, it never gets mushy in milk. There's only one All Brand, Kellogg's All Brand. So relieve constipation the way millions do with Kellogg's All Brand. A- Double L hyphen B-R-A-M. Yes, you're so right to stay regular with Kellogg's All Brand. Try it, okay? Okay. Heard in tonight's story... Where Bob Reddick is Johnny, Connie Lemke is Lily, and Robert Donnelly is Krilovich. Listen again next week when we return with Elemental by Stephen Vincent Benet. Another tale, well calculated to keep you in suspense. News analysis next, followed by the latest CBS News and Have Gun Will Travel. 